Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to show you how to replace the old seal beam on a truck like this with halogen lights like this. So stay tuned. So what we've got here is a halogen replacement bulb from Anzo USA. And I'm going to leave a link in the description for these bulbs that I got off of Amazon. And basically what they are is they're a replacement housing for the old seal beam style headlights that are going to give you a standard halogen bulb replacement back here. So if your bulb ever blows, all you got to do is go to your local auto parts store and pick up an H4 and plug it in. Away you go. So we're going to do this quick video and show you how simple it is to change these out on these old Chevy trucks. And all you're going to need is a pair of side cutters and a Phillips screwdriver. Let's get started. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to remove the five Phillips screws that are holding the bezel in and the fifth one is down here below the little curve in the grill. So now that we've got our screws out, we're just going to pull the bezel out like so and there shouldn't be any resistance whatsoever. Now there's a chrome trim ring that holds the bulb into place into the headlight housing and there's three Phillips screws one more time on the outside edges that you've got to remove to get this in your hand. So one thing that we're going to talk about is the slight modification we're going to have to make to the stainless steel trim ring, but we'll get back to that in just a minute. So now that we've got the bulb kind of in our hand, all we need to do is unplug the three pin connector in the back. And it just pulls right off. Now one of the reasons why we need the side cutters is because of the shape of this plug in here, you've got these tabs all the way around. And on the back, we know it's not going to fit on this new bulb. This little rubber piece, you just pull off and it reveals the three pronged plug in back here. So what we need the side cutters for is we're going to trim off the excess around that plug in. So it'll plug in to our new lights. So now that we've got all that excess plastic out of the way, there's only one way that headlight's going to plug in, so you can just go ahead and plug it in. And in order to make reference on which way is up on the back of the new replacement bulb, it does label top pointing upwards so that you know that your three prong connection is going to face the right way and that you're going to get the proper beam once it's installed. So before we button everything up, let's go turn the switch on and see if everything lights up. So now we're ready for our trim ring. Let's go over to the bench and I'll show you what you've got to do to fix that. So what we've got to modify on the trim ring is the position on which the tabs are laid out or bent. So what we're going to do is we're going to flatten them out and then we're going to re-bend them a little bit closer to the housing. The reason why we're doing that is because the thickness right here on the original bulb is a little bit thicker than these replacement bulbs. So when you put them in without any modification, they're going to be loose floating around inside there. You don't want that because eventually that will break the filament inside the new halogen bulb and you'll be dead in the water having to do this job all over again. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a pair of pliers and we're going to flatten out each tab so that it's basically straight out and then we're going to bend it closer to the actual frame itself. And what this will do is this will pinch the actual new headlight into the housing and make it fit a little more secure. So now that we've got that done, we can reinstall our new headlight. Now the only difficult thing about putting this back together is being able to see the holes where the trim ring screws into because it's kind of dark in there. So unless you've got a big light that you can shine in, you're going to have to go by feel. So 
So now that we've got those loosely in place, this is where you want to make sure that your final alignment on that bulb is where you want it. These horizontal lines need to stay horizontal. So now we can go ahead, tighten them up. And now we just reverse the process and putting our bezel back in place. And there we have it folks, we've got our new halogen bulbs replaced on both sides. And that should give us some excellent visibility at nighttime driving and the reason why I didn't want to go with LEDs was because I didn't find anything out there that kind of maintained the original look of the truck. At first glance you look at these and you do see that they look like a standard seal beam light however they're going to give off a little bit brighter bulb. If you wanted to go with something even more bright you could replace the halogen bulb itself with something like a Silver Star Ultra and give you whatever color or brightness you desire. Now as I said these are a Anzo USA so this product is made in the USA there's the part number 841002 and the replacement bulb is just a standard H4 which you can pick up anywhere. And as always one more thing crossed off the list. So thanks again for joining me on this quick little video on how to replace these headlight bulbs, how to modify them, and how to make sure they're going to fit nice and snug into your square body truck. Car Guy and Six Fan Show this week is going to be on Grant's channel. His link is the second one in the first... Blah, 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 blah. The Car Guy and Six Fan Show is this Thursday evening starting at 7 o'clock Central, 8 Eastern, and 9 local time. It's over on Grant Tommy's page, who is Straight Six Fan, and his link is the second one in the description box below. And if you don't know what the Car Guy and Six Fan show is, well, it's just a couple of guys talking cars with other car guys. So I hope you tune into that and have a lot of fun. Invite your friends. If you're into cars, it's something that you're not going to want to miss. Stay focused on the windshield, guys, not the rearview mirror. I love you. God bless. We'll see you in the next video.